I put a new version of going to a town on the record because Mitchell Froome suggested it. I came to him during the recording process and said, you know, it'd be nice if there was one of my song uh, on the record. And, and he then came back and said, well, you know, Rufus, if, if I had to put my money, all my money on one number, I would it would be going to a town, that that would, you know, eventually become a folk song. So we stuck with that and, you know, and certainly, you know, living in the United States now and with all this going on, especially with, you know, gay rights and, and women's rights, where we still feel this intense conservative movement at the gates, you know. So it's uh, so it's important to keep fighting, and this song has, has always, you know, represented that. I also wanted to kind of shorten the song a little bit because I felt like it could be a version that was sung, you know, around a campfire with everybody, you know, trying to remember all the chords and everything. So slightly simpler than the original. I'm going to a town that has already been burnt down. I'm going to a place that has already been disgraced. Working with Anoni on going to a town was, was wonderful, but also somewhat terrifying. <laughs> I've known her for over 30 years now. We've been very good friends, and we've maintained that friendship for, for a long time, even though we don't get to see each other much. But I, there, there's a strong, we've always had a strong connection. But as with all strong connections, you know, it's the full package. So you can be, you know, really excited about things, and you can also get really angry <laughs> and, and really demanding, or, you know, you have to surrender or whatever so so and that that proved to be the case with working with with Anoni on this it was uh it was intense and but I think in the end you can hear that in the recording and and I think we came up with something really vibrant and really electric Ain't gonna be alone. I got a lot Revisiting going to a town, it's a double-edged sword, you know, because on one hand, it's, I'm so happy that, that it has a life and, and it's had, you know, many iterations, whether it's my own or, or George Michael or, or Lily Allen, other people singing it. But then there's a sad element where, where, you know, we're still dealing with so much injustice and so much misunderstanding. And once again, this, you know, rising right wing in the United States. So it's kind of the best and worst of both worlds. Need to know where to soak in the body of Jesus Christ in blood. I'm so tired of America. I really need to know.